Nice girls don't talk about vaginal health. But if we can't talk about it, how do we treat it? So Dr. O'Shaughnessy, can you give me some advice? Because I am personally committed to trying to stop this taboo and shaming around vaginal health. It's like the last frontier in what's taboo around women's bodies. It's all, it starts from education from a very early age. You know, young girls need to understand the vagina is a normal part of their body, just like their arms or their legs, or they have a headache. You know, right. it's a, it should be treated exactly the same way. When young women come into my office, I begin the discussion even before they get their period so that they feel more comfortable talking to someone about this. I encourage the mothers to talk to their daughters about right. their vaginas and about their health and what's normal, what's not normal. So this way, by the time they get to adulthood, it should be a natural discussion. My four-year-old calls it her vagina, so we're working on okay, it. We're well, getting there. Well, we know exactly <laughs> what it is, so that's okay.